In this video, we're going to learn how to record the amount of interest that we could capitalize with an asset before we put it into use and start depreciating it. So in this question, we'll just read through it. In early February 2020, Huey Corp began construction of an addition to its head office building that is expected to take 18 months to complete. The following 2020 expenditures relate to the addition. So we have amounts in February, March, July, December. And so the carrying amount of the asset is 384,000. So the first step that we're going to do is calculate the weighted average of these expenditures. So I'll just say step one, Determine the weighted average accumulated expenditures. So I'm just going to reproduce that chart that's just right up here. So I have February 1st, I have March 1st, July 1st, and December 1st. And so the amount of each of them, I'll just copy them down, 120, One twenty-four, or not one twenty-four. I think it was just twenty-four thousand. Yeah, twenty-four thousand, sixty thousand, and a hundred and eighty thousand. So I just want to make sure that I added that correctly. So I'll just total that. So that's three hundred and eighty-four thousand, which is correct. That's the amount there. So now the capitalization period is just the number of months. So I'm gonna count on my fingers so I don't get this wrong. And I'm assuming that it's a December 31st year end. So February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. That's 11 out of 12 months that I had the 120,000 for. March 1st, so March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, that's 10 out of 12 months. July, July, August, September, October, November, December, that's six out of 12 months. And then December is just one out of 12 months. So now I have the weighted average. Make that look a little bit nicer to center that. So we would take 120,000 times 11 out of 12 months. That gives me 110,000. 24,000 times 10 out of 12 months. That gives me 20,000. 60,000 times six out of 12 months is 30,000. And 180,000 times one out of 12 months is 15,000. So on average, the expenditures were 175,000. So that's your first step. Now step two, is we're going to determine the avoidable borrowing costs on the asset specific debt. So basically, if we're taking out loans in order to purchase these specific assets or to make them or get them in use, these are the asset specific debts I'm talking about. There's another step where we'll look at our other debt on our books, but this one is just specific to our project. So if we read here, it says that on February 1st, Huey issued a 100,000 three-year note payable at a rate of 
to finance most of the initial payment to the contractor. No other asset specific debt was entered into. So that's the one that I'm looking at. So I'll just say my note and we're going to do the same thing here. We want to weight it. And in, case, in this case, there's just one. So that's the note. The original amount was 100,000 and it was issued February 1st. So we have to wait that out of 12 or 11 out of 12 months. So 100,000 times 11 out of 12 is 91,667. And the interest that we're playing is 12%. So the related borrowing costs are 11,000. So step three is to consider the avoidable borrowing costs on non-asset specific uh, debt. So let's put this here. So this isn't too bad of a step because all we're going to do is take the total weighted average accumulated expenditures. So that's the amount that we copied from above here. That's 175,000. And then we're going to subtract the amount of that that we financed with our specific debt. And the weighted average on that was the 91,667. So there was only one loan that we entered into. So then the remainder is the weighted average accumulated expenditures. financed by general borrowings. And I just want to make note, a note here that it can't be a negative. So if it ends up being a negative, then you just go up until it's zero. Okay, so now we're going to do step four. And we're going to calculate the capitalization rate on the general borrowings. So we're going to do this, like step two, but just on the general debt. So I'll just copy this chart down. And now we'll take a look at what that debt is. So the rest of the debt that I have on my books is a 9% 15 year bond a 7% 10-year bond, and a 6% 12-year bond. So this one, the five-year bond matures May 1st, 2020. So let's deal with this one first. The 9%, okay, so 9% 15 year bond matured May 1st, 2020. So the original amount was 300,000, but since it matured, matured, matured on May, we only had it issued for January, February, March, April 30th. So for four out of the 12 months, in our fiscal year. 
So the weighted average on that is 100,000. And then the interest on it was nine, 9%. So the borrowing cost could be calculated at 9,000. Now our second debt is the 7% 10-year bonds. Since those were issued January or June 15th, 2014, it's outstanding for the entire year. So we don't have to worry about that one. So 7% 10-year bonds. And those were 500,000 and outstanding for the entire year. So the weighted average is going to be the same. And the interest was 7%. So we'll take 500,000 times 7% to give us 35. And now the last debt that I have for general borrowings is my 6% 12-year bond. And that was issued May 1st. So it was issued this year. So it was outstanding May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December for eight months out of 12 months. So 300,000 times eight divided by 12, and it was a 6% bond. So 200,000 times 6% gives me interest of 12,000. So this was really interesting. We had a bond that matured in the middle of our year. We had a bond that we've had for the entire year, and then we had a bond that we issued near the end of the year. So you got to see all of those scenarios, which is really good. Okay, so we'll just add up our borrowing costs related to all of our general debt, which is 56000 So now what we can do is calculate the capitalization rate. So we just want the average rate here. So what I'll end up doing is just taking this 56,000 and dividing that by the weighted average. And that will give me the average percentage rate. So that's 7%. Okay, now the next step that we wanna do is Determine the borrowing costs to capitalize by applying the capitalization rate to the appropriate expenditures on the qualifying asset. Okay, so the avoidable borrowing costs So basically the interest, that was the asset specific interest. Was the amount that we calculated up here, the 11,000. Now the avoidable interest on the non-asset specific debt would be the weighted average on the general borrowings, 83333, multiplied by our capitalization rate, which is 7%. And that gives me 5833. So I'll just put that number in here again. So it's the 7% times the 83333. 
So that's on the non-asset specific debt. So that's the total avoidable borrowing costs. So now our last step is to calculate the actual borrowing costs incurred during the year. And then we can capitalize the lower of the actual and estimated, which is above. Okay, so our actual borrowing costs were wonder if I can go like this. I'm going to say actual borrowing costs instead of setting up another table. I'm just going to modify my table up here. So the actual borrowing costs are going to be on the actual amount, not on the weighted average amount. Scratch that. I have an easier way to do this. So my actual borrowing costs are basically just these amounts. The actual total, so the 56,000 plus the asset specific costs, the 11,000. So that ends up being 67,000. Didn't think it was that easy. Okay, so in this case, I took the 11,000 plus the actual interest, 56,000. Whereas in this one, I just used the interest based off of the remainder that I had. So that's just the difference. So the lower of the amounts is this 1,6. Eight three three, and that's the amount that we're actually going to capitalize. So I'll just say we'll capitalize the lower of one six eight three three and sixty seven thousand. So that means the one six eight three three. My gosh, so much work just to accrue interest onto my property, plant, and equipment. All right, we're done.